So we've seen creating a data model, creating relationships between the various data sets within the data model, and we've seen creating a pivot table based off of that data model. Now let's take a look at getting back into the data model and creating calculations within the data model environment. Let's take a look. I've got the example file back open here. I'm still sitting on the newly created pivot table based off of the data model that we've created. I'm going to go up to my Power Pivot tab, and on the far left, I'm going to go back into Manage. This will reopen up the Power Pivot environment where I've got my multiple data sets and the relationship. So now I want to create some calculations based off of this data. We've seen how to create calculations inside of a pivot table, but that's in the pivot table environment. That's not a part of our data model. So I'm currently on the Order Info tab within my data model. And I can see all my data up above. Down below, I've got a few rows that are really reserved for calculations that I want to create based off of this data. For example, we saw how we can create an average freight back inside of the pivot table environment. But let's take a look at how you can do an average freight within the data model. So I'm going to hop over to my freight column. Really doesn't matter where, just as long as I'm inside the freight column. Inside the freight column, I'm then going to go to my home tab, top of my screen. Towards the far right, we got a section called calculations. And inside of here, we've got an auto sum button. Now if I go to the little drop down arrow right next door, there are multiple different auto calculations that we can create. And one of them is average. I'll go ahead and select average. And I've now got an average freight right of that column, which is $72 and roughly 24 cents. Average freight among all the orders within this data set. Just a couple clicks in the mouse, nothing big. You know, maybe I want to count how many employees we have inside of here, or how many customers have placed orders inside of this, this orders table. Or maybe I don't want to get an average freight, I want to get a sum of freight. Or I want to count how many different times we use different shipping methods. You know, there's multiple things we could do here, but we can perform calculations. And all you need to do, click into the column, hop up to home, Go over to your auto sum button and pick your choice. Let's say in this case, I'm going to do a distinct count. I want to know how many different shipping methods or ship via methods we have. So I'm going to say distinct count. And I'm going to expand that column out so we can see the results here. Keep it going. And we've got three different shipping methods. They're really just one, two, and three. Now that's a distinct count. If I did just a count, I believe that there's 830 records inside of here. I can look in the lower left-hand corner, one of 830. There are 830 different ship via, not distinct, but ship via values inside this data set. So again, really simple. Just click in the column, head to home, go to auto sum, pick your calculation. Simple, simple. Now we're going to take this a step further in the next lecture and utilize these calculations to create KPIs. So hold on, try this out first, and then we'll jump into the next discussion of creating KPIs inside of your data models.